We're gonna start with a little story time this week, but please don't skip ahead because there is very important information contained within the story. Let's I've get to it. I've never been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool. The kind of guy who chill while others hurry. I didn't know that I've been the fool. I've been telling lies about something real, but I know love is based on honesty. Can't think it's how Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is your angelic weekly reading for the week beginning May 28th, 2018. So um, I believe the 28th, yeah, that should be Monday. So that is Memorial Day. If you are a person in the military or you are a veteran at this point, shoot me an email at angelsouls444 at gmail.com with one question and I will answer that one question for you via email. My little gift to you, my thank you to you, and of course, if we can all just say a prayer for all the beautiful souls that are on the other side who have made that kind of sacrifice for us, that would be really wonderful. So the reason why I'm starting off with a story time, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm gonna learn astrology. I'm gonna learn astrology because I have been fascinated by Uranus, and I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I just think of Uranus because it's the planet of like shock and awe and surprise. And I was shocked and awe, awed this morning <laughs> when I woke up, it was a normal day. Um, you know, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be a filming day. It's gonna be great. I'm just gonna finish this cup of coffee, put myself together. I'm thinking about, okay, I should I should pull this outfit. You know, that's what happens when you're getting ready to, ready to film. See, I already can't talk. Um, <laughs> but then I checked my email and there were a slew of privacy policy update notifications from various people. And I've been seeing these coming in and you know, you're hearing all this like privacy update stuff, whatever. And then I saw one from somebody whose business is about the same size as mine. And so I clicked it open and I read it. And I'm like, what is GDPR? It's happening today. It's in effect today. Hmm. And I initially thought that has to be for like the big guys. That has to be for Google and Amazon. As I understand it, so if you are a small business owner and you deal with Europe, you have clients in Europe, please listen up, okay? That would be most readers on YouTube. You know, we have a global base. So um, when you collect data, you have to now, I I'm gonna get into it here in a little, <laughs> anyway, it's like a whole thing. So my mailing list, for example, um, when, I, when you guys sign up and you opt in for my newsletter or whatever, it's not good enough now. I guess mine was considered like a soft opt-in. Now there needs to be a double opt-in or something. Um, so it's causing a little bit of a mess. My point is this. I now have to transfer your emails, which I kept in Google in a Google Sheet and Docs, which I only have access to. I now have to switch that over. I'm gonna try MailChimp because they seem to um, be up and running with this whole GDPR thing. Uh, and being compliant. I mean, I just like, I feel like I'm in a, like a nightmare right now. I'm like, this is so weird. Like all of a sudden the way we're doing, <laughs> I done told you guys, <laughs> this is the shift, right? This is like, everything is just like really shocking and how we even, um, it's, it's a good thing. It really is. It'll mean, you know, less spam and all that stuff. But you know, if you're a small business owner and you don't have an IT department and you may not have, you know, lawyers on retainer and you know, all these things, you know, it, it can, it can be very daunting. So I'm in the process now of trying to get all that switched over to MailChimp. Squarespace is where I run my website. I got it on there. It all seems, I don't know what I missed. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot recently, apparently. Um, the embarrassing thing about this though, is when I saw GD, uh, GD, was it GDPR, um, I, when I looked it up, <laughs> there's stuff all over the internet about this. It's been going on for two years. What portal was I in? Did I just drop out of the sky? Am I a time traveler? I don't, like, I'm seriously freaked out. Like, why? <laughs> And I know about this. What? I'm still trying to like come to terms with that. But anyway, I feel like I've done enough right now so that EU doesn't come for me and, and you know, find me 20 million euros. 
for not taking care of people's emails. No, they're safe. I do assure you, I do nothing but use those emails to send newsletters, to let you know about courses, to let you know about um, events, collaborations. If I have uh, a pop-up message that comes up maybe in the middle of a week, I can use the emails for that. Um, I can even start using that to give you a little more of a basis on, okay, you know, like I did a couple weeks ago, hey guys, I'm all caught up on personal readings if you wanna hop in line, you know, I can use it for that. It never gets sold. Even if, God forbid, like I'm sitting there with my computer open with the spreadsheet and someone comes in and snatches my computer, God forbid, I could still hurry up and go on one of my other many devices and wipe the data before somebody ever got to it. You know what I'm saying? So it is absolutely safe. I'm gonna to try to make it even safer. I have to now because there are all these rules in place that you have to do it. The other problem though too is that uh, when I do a personal reading for you, I have you fill out a submission form and that's collecting your information as well. Again, it's all safe and tidy and I will never share that with anybody. But now starting today, when you submit that form, I'm only gonna keep it until I get your reading done and I get your reading sent to you, then it gets deleted, okay? It'll get deleted off the spreadsheet and Google Docs and out of my email as well, okay? What else can I tell you? Really, if you're concerned about your data, you know, there, read all the privacy policies. Um, actually, I just sent out a newsletter that lists all the pieces that I use for my business. So in any direction, if you have a concern about what's being collected, it's all right there and you can read it, okay? Of course, if you signed up for my newsletter, you can always opt out. Please don't hit the spam button. <laughs> if you just don't wanna receive the emails anymore, just unsubscribe, okay? If you have a problem doing that, always email me, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. And if there's some glitch or something, I will manually go in and remove your data. Uh, keep in mind too, some people I've noticed have, um, I'm assuming maybe they had computer problems when they first signed up. So maybe your entry is in there twice and unsubscribing only removes the one entry. Or when I was giving away a free gift, if you sign up for my, for my mailing list, people were going in with different emails, um, same name, but different emails to get several copies of it, you know, all those kinds of things. So you're gonna have to, I'm shedding, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how stressed I am, I'm not stressed. I'm, I'm actually just confounded actually. Um, just let me know and I will definitely take care of that for you, okay? It's kind of, I'm still kind of, it's in messy mode right now. I'm just trying to get compliant. I'm just not trying to have any problem with the EU. Don't come for me, EU. <laughs> I mean well, I really do. Anyway, story time is over. If you have questions about that or if you have been following this and you've been well informed, let me know. Cause I know there, there are other people who are about the size of, of my business who are panicking right now and they're running off to lawyers. They're paying lawyers. And I'm like, is that necessary? I mean, are you like really collecting that much data that could be compromised? I, I don't know. But I will say that I, I reached out to a couple of my beautiful colleagues here on YouTube. Hi, Vicki and hi, Lisa. Um, and they didn't know anything either. So I was like, oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I'm not the only one who missed out on this information. Anyway, open for that discussion. You let me know down below if you know anything and you can offer it or you have concerns let me know. I will try to answer you as best as I can. Blah. Having said all that, <laughs> uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you don't need to be scared. Um, I, I should admit, you know, every time I give a, like a timing update, I want to explain that because, you know, I can tell you I'm running about 16 days and then everybody rushes in. So if you get on it, you know, right away, you'll be within that 16 day waiting period. I do have up to 20 days. I give myself that cushion for things like GDR, a PR, whatever the heck it is, because <laughs> I was going to do readings today and I couldn't do it. So that's what pushed me back to 16 days. Anyway, just be aware of that. Okay. I have up to 20 days to get the reading to you, but if I can get it to you sooner, I always do. Okay. I do my best to do that for you. So angelsouls444.com, the services page. And remember you will be filling out a submission form. If you have concerns about, you know, me keeping your data, remember I will or your birth date or whatever, it will get erased as soon as your reading is sent to you. Yes, Gumroad, courses are up over there. I was gonna film a few more of the uh, workshop series. Um, I think I think the next it's up, I, I hope I'm not mistaken, healing 
prosperity and love. But yeah, I can't tell you when I'm gonna get that done. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but I'm gonna try that very soon. There are tons of courses up over at Gumroad. Go check it out. And of course, a special thank you to every single Patreon supporter, all that information down below. Let's get to the message. I do apologize. I know it's, I don't know, I can't see. I didn't wear my contacts. So <laughs> I know it's a long uh, intro there, but it was an important thing to talk about. So, okay. So the auto write, the first word, was turmoil. Now, I'll just keep going. It says turmoil revelation, not revelations, revelation, like, like in the Bible, right? <laughs> End times. No, 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 it's not that. Crumbling away, rocks falling, cars. So this felt um, a little strange in that there, there seemed to be one layer of kind of literal sense and also metaphorical. So the structures are kind of, you know, like rocks falling. And, you know, like I, I try to, I like to think of myself as spiritually advanced, but today it felt like rocks were falling <laughs> a little bit. I hadn't perceived it like that until I just read that. But um, I think it's going to be that kind of thing where it's like, well, I have to adjust or I have to get out of the way or I just have to let it be. You know, there's, there's not much more I can do. So there's a big uh, message around here about releasing and surrendering and accepting. And we're gonna get into it a little bit more because we talk about the past coming up. So let me pick this back up. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and then they said cars. So if you are going to be doing any sort of like mountain driving, especially if you're in the Colorado area, um, watch for rocks falling. I, I'm just gonna throw it out there because it came up kind of a weird message, but there you go. I really hope that this isn't like an earthquake and that's what causes things to crumble and fall. Um, I hope not. I, I really do hope that that's not the case, but um, I don't think the lighting's all weird. And I'm also, for the first time, I think ever in, well, not ever, but in a long time, I'm filming in the evening. So we'll see what the lighting looks like. <laughs> I can see the bags under my eyes. <laughs> can you see that little, this little, thing here um terrible drawing i know but that was like the side of a mountain and things falling down the mountain um you could i mean you can also i guess take it for like hawaii because they're still having their volcanic eruptions but usually when they have me draw a volcano they they represent that with lava spewing out of the top this is like down by the side and falling down so don't take any risks when it comes to driving through uh rocky terrain Okay, you're not invincible. And then they go into Eastern US, the Atlantic, uh, turnovers, reversals. Now this actually felt, and I didn't, I didn't write it down because I was trying to capture the whole thing. You don't need to know all that, I suppose. <laughs> um, I felt like Eastern United States, the Atlantic, and then Great Britain. There was something going on there. And then I kind of retreated back from that because I kind of felt it and I sat with it for a second. And then I retreated back. There could be something I'm hearing spilling as well. Now that doesn't have to mean that there is an oil spill or anything like that. Um, and even as I wrote it down, I, f I felt a stretching, a pulling, um, but I don't have much more than that. And I don't wanna sit here and pretend, oh, I know exactly what that means. That means storms. That means there's going to be craft out in the Atlantic that something, you know, this happens and that happens. Uh, I don't, I don't have the clarity around that. So I don't want to try to add meaning to it. I will say though, I think our attention is going to be drawn to that portion. I want to say too, that it doesn't have to just, as always, it doesn't have to be in the coming week. Um, we're just being told about it right now. Okay. So to keep an eye out for it, I suppose, um, or something happening overseas and no, this isn't the royal wedding that's already done. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, by the way. Can you imagine if they watch this? I would die. I'd be like, really? Of all the videos the royal family could like check out, you can check out this one. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so we'll have to just keep an eye on what's going on there. Barges, something about barges, aircraft carriers, um, action, movement, mobilizing, which is also interesting because you guys know I live in Colorado Springs. So I am surrounded by Air Force people, okay? Um, and 
they've been on my mind a lot. And I thought that that was just because the Air Force Academy just had their graduation. Um, but it feels deeper than that. Okay. So just be aware. Um, I don't know how much this is like, like it's going to make people nervous. Um, and certainly the families of the people, if it is military, I, f I feel like there's a scrambling. God, I, I hope this isn't scrambling jets for some reason. Cause that just occurred to me. Um, I could always be wrong and I hope I'm wrong, but something is going on in the Atlantic and things are, um, I, I want to use the word mobilizing. Yes. And uh, we did have that word revelation coming out. So, it, you know, events as they unfold, these are not things that are brand new to us, but they still might take us by surprise. Um, it, the things that end up kind of, I think, coming up, it's asking us to question how we normally approach things and how we normally think of things. And, you know, this could be, you know, reversals. So did I say that already? Because I know that came up. No, that's, yeah, no, turnovers, reversals. Um, so the enemies seem like they're not enemies anymore. People we thought were on our side, they're teaming up with other people. Like, okay, and that can work on an individual level as well. So just be aware of that. I think the big thing here is to, you know, we say things like go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> easier said than done right but um if you start to feel your heart breaking ask yourself is that because i'm resisting what i'm seeing is that because i feel like this isn't in alignment with what i think should be um and and the more you struggle the more you suffer yes <sighs> so again it's starting to go out into several different energies if uh you know if you, if you need a personal reading around that, of course, that's, that's how I'm going to be able to tune into your own energy. But, um, I am seeing like an older woman and, and she seems like she's associated with the military. And it's interesting because we have Memorial Day coming up and PS, when I said, if you're a vet, you know, I'm going to need a little, give me, give me a little info <laughs> to prove that you are in the service or that you are a veteran. Okay. <laughs> Email that with your question. PS. All right. So I, I see mothers. But these are like military mothers. See, this is the thing. There's like this big military feeling going on. Um, and at this point, I'm not getting a firm hit on why they're showing up. So if that changes throughout the course of the reading, I will definitely share it with you. But I'm not going to add meeting where I, I'm not getting anything. Okay. Tipping over slash boat, rock the boat, explosion. And I'm right in the center again, about feeling whether that is literal or metaphorical. Um, okay. So I did hear battleships. I heard that there might be some sort of capsizing. Okay. Something's rocking and rolling. It, it feels like the Atlantic. And it's in between the Eastern US. And I, I specifically felt Great Britain. Um, there might only, they're showing me bits and pieces of news coming out. So if the actual thing happens a month from now, I don't know. I, I, wish, I, I wish I was so in tune with timing that I could just pop it in there and give it to you. But um, I think it would put people in a panic. This doesn't necessarily have to mean a war. Um, but I think when we see these little moments where it's like, okay, that where, where in my town, where did everybody go? You know, um, in Colorado Springs, you know, something's shaken when there are no cars parked around my complex and there are like a bunch of empty apartments, you know, uh, the military is on the move, <laughs> right? So, um, God bless you if that is the case. Um, but I think this might be, you know, the way that we can all help is just, in your prayers and meditations, uh, send some good energy out. And I think sometimes we can be really powerful in, in helping things get smoothed over. 
hang with me here. I'm sorry. Let me just feel this out. I don't know if this is like, I don't think they're actually engaged in battle. That's the thing. I, I, it's like, I want to say it's like an unfortunate accident of some sort, you know, where, um, or like I'm almost getting the feeling of like friendly fire type thing. Do you know what I mean? So I know this is a bit of a downer, so I we, we can move on. But if I'm feeling it, you know, the, the, the warning is kind of going out. Okay. And down. They're, they're just saying down. <sighs> just as always, you, you know what to do. Okay. Um, and then they have this kind of like feeling of flowing into June. And that there might be some, like a rocky ending here in one way or another. And then we flow into June. And then they say, and then the silence, nothing reflecting, returning, tears and cleansing. Uh, do not hold on. Do not hold on to what um, you think should be, okay? And then they said the past, the memories. And then they asked me to explain. <sighs> you might ex inexplicably suddenly think of someone who you had not thought of in a long time. And you might have a catharsis. You might have a moment where you just start crying. And uh, I think this can happen for a lot of people. It depends on how well you handle things. If you feel like you need to lay down, to lay down, like you're an object, right? So if you feel like you need to <laughs> lie down, then do that. If you need to take some time for yourself, if you need a nap, you know, go ahead and do that. I don't, I don't know what this whole boat thing exactly is. Um, it, it's one of those things we won't really know until everything plays out and it may not completely play out in this coming week. I think it just starts to like, cause the, the main word around that first part of the message was mobilizing. Okay. Um, yeah. So the silence reflecting, returning tears and cleansing. So it, it is just that it's letting the memories come up, letting yourself sit with them. You don't have to push it away. Okay. And I want to make that very clear because I know it's a very popular uh, way of thinking that, oh, cleanse it. And then you just, you're done with it. No. Uh, and I've said this to other people, you know, our pain, our traumas, our past, the people, you know, the memories of them they are going to be constant, wonderful teachers. So even if you have something coming up right now and you process and process it and you get through it, it's not to say that it won't come up again in the future. Okay. It's just, if it comes up again in the future, it's trying to teach you something else. And you can have some really wonderful discoveries, something that maybe you thought, um, was this horrible thing. Maybe, you, and I'm getting the feeling like somebody has some guilt around it. You may remember like, wait a minute. No, that wasn't me who did that. That was okay. Oh, now I remember why we did that. You know, that sort of thing. Okay. So there can be some, you know, uh, reversals, <laughs> turning it around, right? Uh, do not hold on the past, the memories. We talked about that. Hold tight is what they say. Alchemy, healing, no answers for now. Focus on inner spirit and love. We are here. And I think what they mean by no answers for now is stop pushing, stop seeking. You need to be present. The answers and everything that you need to know will come to you, okay? Be kind to one another. Um, try not to judge. Always, if you wanna have a discussion about things, let's, you know, and I know people are kind of, kind of smirk and be like, funny words coming out of your mouth, Michelle, but um, what I'm about to say is, let's be careful on how we speak to one another. Okay. Um, if we come from a place of I'm right, you're wrong. You know, I, th I think it's one thing to be passionate. It's quite another to want to squash everybody. And, uh, you know, again, people, especially in the past week, you know, on Facebook and everything, um, I had a few people who were, and I'll just explain this really quickly. I had a few people who were just getting, they just wanted to fight. And when I asked them to be respectful, they wouldn't do it. Some of them were getting very abusive, slanderous even. And I, I started just going, you know what? I, I don't want this energy here. I'm going to block that person. And I did. Um, and I'm of a different opinion now. I, I think I'm going to leave all the negative comments up. 
you know? Before, I didn't want people getting upset. It was upsetting to me. It didn't feel right. Um, it opened it up for similar energies to kind of come on in and dogpile, you know? Is that a term? <laughs> Like to pile up and then everybody's jumping on the bandwagon and you know it just felt like it was fostering more negativity but um i i think we're coming into this time where we all need to see one another even in our worst moments and i think that's the only way we're going to understand each other so um <laughs> trolls and all i suppose um i'm going to try to leave it up and I'm just as an experiment, let's see what that does. Let's see what happens. Let's see what people reveal of themselves. I think that can be also a very good teacher for all of us. So let's get on to the cards. So um, going back to, I keep thinking of other things I need to, <laughs> the whole veteran military emailing me one question, that's just for this coming week. Okay, so if you see this, you know, before Monday and you want to email me a question, you can uh, email me some sort of picture or proof that you are in the service or you were in the service um, and it's just for next week. Okay, so the cards, as always, I always leave them down in the description. The Color Oracle by Inna Seagal, the uh, Crystal Oracle by Rochelle Charmin. Um, let me feel this out. I want to use the color deck for most of it, I think. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> So I'm just gonna clear them out and let's get our cards. I do apologize for our rambling video this week, but oh, 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 <laughs> and she's klutzy, hold on. <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, well, okay, I don't think that, I know everybody's like, oh no, that's supposed to be, but let's call these bonus cards. So we've got Burgundy, Awaken Your Passion, the number is 10 try to get the glare off so consider that a bonus card for you guys this week it's not a part of the reading um <laughs> and gold uh, is also what fell on the floor attract abundance the number is 21 so that's pretty lovely as well so um I, and that makes sense if you're releasing a lot of your pain you're going to make room for abundance right and you'll be able to awaken your passions okay so now let's get on to <laughs> what we have for the week of May 28th. One more, I always do that. Get ready to pull and then like one more. All right, so what do we have? We have rainbow, connect the spirit in nature, the number is one. So we we're talking about retreating a little bit, processing. And rainbows are blessings. And look what it's stretching over the ocean. And the ocean was kind of coming up as part of the message. Uh, water, emotions, uh, feeling tranquil, you know, despite what's going on. And that doesn't mean you're in denial about it. It doesn't mean that you're pretending like it didn't happen um, or whatever's going on. But you're connecting to yourself. You are fortifying within you because it's about all you can do. You can't change the circumstances around you can try to flow good energy that way um and you're keeping yourself in tune you know that that's about how you can contribute so taking a lighter approach to life here we have tangerine be spontaneous and have fun the number is 17 so letting loose again we've gotten into a lot of heaviness and you know last week was all about sparking joy but again you know it could have been sparking joy through some realization, through some re releasing. And maybe this is the week too, no matter what's going on in the world, you're just going to enjoy your family. You know, <sighs> enjoy being around kids as well, all right? Um, I wanna go back to the whole past thing. That, this might also have to do with remembering when you were a kid and wanting to kind of capture that again. So. I think it was like like a couple weeks ago or whatever, I was listening to Chris Hadley, he's an astronaut, he's a Canadian astronaut, and he has a master class up right now at masterclass.com, not sponsored. Um, but I absolutely enjoyed that class so much. And he brought up the Columbia incident and that made me think of Challenger. And then I started kind of getting really thrown back and I forgot that when I was a little girl, I wanted to reach for the stars. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be everything, um, <laughs> but I wanted to be an astronaut. And that, 
in, in kind of a weird way, it was very sad to remember some of the history and what kind of squashed that dream, not only for me, but I bet for a lot of people who were, you know, at that time born <laughs> and old enough to understand what was going on, because it really was the the downfall of the space program, I think, for the United States. But anyway, um, it definitely was a reversal, right? But in, in a weird way, that kind of sad memory then kicked me back to when I was a kid. And I suddenly found myself like looking up all these like nostalgic things. And I watched, uh, was it Space Camp? <laughs> Which unfortunately came out five months after the Challenger thing happened. But still, there was this upliftment out of the sadness. It was sort of like, oh, but I remember, I remember being that age. And, you know, try to capture that for yourself this coming week. All right. There's going to be some sort of blessing in that. Okay. So then we have lemon access, innovative thinking. The number is 23. Take a different approach. We are no longer accepting things as they were. <laughs> we're going to have to find new solutions. I, I feel like this also has a lot to do with new inventions coming out, um, new information coming forward. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm going to have to be very innovative about, um, you know, reworking my business because I am an online digital business. So the digital world is shifting. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's going to be that, like making sure that all my bases are covered, um, that I'm offering really cool things and keeping it fresh. So, you know, see, see what parts in your life where you could take a different approach, even if it's as simple as trying a new restaurant or taking a different way to work, you know, whatever the case may be. All right. So then we have white lighten up. The number is 24. <laughs> Don't engage in the dark stories kind of thing. Now, again, people might from a couple, was it last week or a couple weeks ago? Um, you know, there, there was a very impassioned moment and I myself got impassioned. If you don't think that I am not a passionate person and that I don't have a mouth on me, <laughs> I do. It's, it's never intended to harm anybody or whatever, but you know, I, I, I felt like I needed to take action. I felt like my words might be powerful, but I feel like in this coming week, we're being asked to just, um, find common ground with others, focus on the play and not the fight. Yes. And lighten up too can also be about having that solitary moment where you are connecting with your spiritual team. And allowing them to come through because uh, this is a white feather here so that is kind of very angelic <laughs> all right okay so um, take a different approach do what you can to find the spark of life kind of thing I mean I'm putting all these like little cliches <laughs> around it um, it can be very gentle and very sweet but I think that is to sort of balance out what might be happening around you okay again I don't think that the I don't know there's always something going on in the world, as I say, all the time. But this is about you finding, yeah, they're saying upliftment of spirit. And, and this is a way that you're learning, uh, how do I say this, your own resolve, like how, what you're made of, how, how you always have you. I say that a lot. <laughs> you will always have you. <laughs> Did you guys see that fly out? It literally flew out. It's Rose Quartz, inner child. What else can I tell you? Go watch you the dark crystal, watch space camp, go watch back to the future. You can skip Teen Wolf. I mean, it was a good movie, but I don't know if it was only good because it was the eighties and that's kind of what we were into back then. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. So I think that says it all. Capture your innocence and Rose Quartz is all about love. It's all about loving yourself, loving the life around you, uh, spreading love. That's what we need right now and uh, capturing our innocence again, or at least connecting into it. You don't have to push to make this happen, but it's, it's time to remember lighter times, <laughs> I guess is what we're saying here. So thank you all so much for hanging in there with me. Thank you so much for your patience. Again, I know it was a very, very chatty video. I wasn't very concise <laughs> tonight, but I am sending you so much love. Thank you for being there and take care.